Chronobank is a service using blockchain technology to streamline something we all care about, getting paid for our labor. I talked to Andre from the team to find out more. So Chronobank sounds like uh, they're bridging between a few established industries. So let's start with just recruitment. Um, what is broken in today's current recruitment industry? Well, yeah, the idea is uh, yeah, recruitment middlemen, essentially. Recruitment industry, essentially, it's a middleman between the employer, you know, the guys who have a job, and employers, guys who are looking for a job. And I guess it's nothing that wrong with that service per se. However, what's happening now, uh, let's say uh, you need the uh, web designer, yeah, or web developer or something, yeah? So the guy who looking for a development will probably have no idea himself, or let's call it blockchain software, something like, you know, more related to the topic, I guess. So somebody need a blockchain developer. Yeah, it's quite a new industry. It's quite a new uh, skill. So most of the recruiters maybe have no idea what that is. So what they do, they search it on the, uh, I don't know, uh, Facebook. They search it on the uh, LinkedIn. They find the blockchain, contact the guys a few times, get a job, get, give them a job. And because of that, they get paid, I don't know, 10% of his wage in the next five years. Well, we think it's a little bit unfair that for a few phone calls and few emails, you get 10% of the wage. Uh, what also it creates the uh, the employee, the person who gives the job, they have to pay premium, essentially for well, I mean not nothing, but like one day of work, you know what I mean, which creates a bit of inefficiency. Uh, so essentially, with the Corona Bank, we're trying to uh, get rid of the middleman and have like uh, kind of I guess uh, for this in a simple term like Uber concept, you know, somebody has a job, somebody looking for a job, you connect them without middleman. That's kind of in simple terms. But also, like, I mean, there's things like, uh, it's actually a bit of, we maybe it's a little bit too early for its time, the cornerback concept, but the idea also, a lot of people doing their full-time jobs, you know, nine to five in Australia. I'm not sure what it's in America, but let's call it nine to five a week. And the, uh, okay, they say, well, we get paid this amount per hour, but what's happening in real life? People do overtime, people, you know, stay longer, people work on a weekend, and essentially they're a bit of a slaves of their jobs. Uh, because they get uh, security and they get the, uh, you know, annual annual uh, annual leave or, I don't know, vacation, whatever you call it, we call, we call that, like a holiday. Uh, and also with the uh, progression in the career, not necessarily the guy with the best skill gets progressed in his career. It's usually the guy who have a beer with the boss or the sort of politics and quite often the... Uh, the person who can play the office politics better gets the promotion where the guy who actually does the job sits in the corner and does the job. So where I'm going with this, the other part of Corner Bank, uh, we have this uh, rate ranking system, uh, which because it's a blockchain, they cannot be altered. And they're not like your LinkedIn ranking system when your friends give you ticks and you know your skill is um, in blockchain is awesome, where in real life, maybe it's not, you know. So that ranking system will be uh, based on, you know, like uh, other jobs that they did based on the experience. It's going to be quite a complex algorithm. But based on the ranking system, the higher the ranking, the more job you get, the more the higher you get paid. And the idea is so you don't become like a slave of that nine to five. Uh, if you want to work, you know, a few days and get paid for it accordingly, then, you know, you do a few days and get paid for it accordingly. So it's kind of a bit of a part from the uh, uh, getting rid of the middleman in recruitment. Also, the idea is to kind of shift the thinking a little bit about, you know, how you should work. You know what I mean? You know, it should be, once again, kind of like Uber. You know, if you feel like driving, you drive. If you don't feel like driving, you don't drive. So, uh, yeah, so that's the uh, same kind of thing. So it's kind of a few, few elements to it. Uh, and I guess another element would be in uh, some countries, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Vietnam, for example, they don't really have superannuation, as they call it in Australia, like a uh, pension. Uh, like, you know, when you retire at the age of 55 or whatever, you get your pension money. They call it pension or superannuation. Yeah. Uh, in some countries, they don't have it. Uh, and Corona Bank, because they play by, uh, the, the flagship product there is Labor X platform. That's where all the connection happens. Uh, that platform quite flexible. Some of the pay that goes through the Corona uh, Labor X platform, some percentage of it can go to the superannuation fund. So people receive some kind of money when they retire. Yeah, that's really one of the kind. yeah, that's really interesting. It's a very uh, elegant to, uh, solution to a lot of difficult problems. Um, so all your examples were related to mm. the tech industry. Uh, will it be for everything or just tech guys? Ah, uh, no, tech guys. I just said it because it's like hard skill to find. 
uh, technically, I mean, it's essentially, I mean, ideally it would be for everything. Uh, we base it on the labor, uh, on, like, when I say labor, I mean like construction related jobs. On the reason being, because the Corona Bank is uh, backed up by Edward Group, and Edward Group uh, started off, uh, it's, uh, it's essentially a labor hire company, that's a short term recruitment. You know, there is, the reason we can, we kind of, the ironic thing is we're, try, we're trying to eliminate guys like ourselves. Because essentially, uh, that's what we do. Like one of the, uh, one of, like, you know, the real life, real life business that we do is uh, uh, labor hire for the construction. Uh, then we have training department for like, you know, construction, let another, like, you know, painting, uh, app development. But uh, the reason we based it on construction because we've been doing that for 10 plus years. So we kind of know how the industry works. And it's kind of, you know, kind of logic, I guess, to base it on, you know, day to day business that we do. But ideally, it should not be uh, limited by what profession you do, like any, any job. Great. So let's, uh, that's the most important issue. How are people getting paid? Uh, your website mentions this labor hour stable coin. Could you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, the idea is so, so you, do, you get paid through the platform, you know, through the LabourX platform. Uh, with how they get paid, the, uh, I mean, essentially, they can be paid. At the moment, we have time, yeah? Time, uh, time, corner banks time, it's already trading. Yep. Uh, the uh, idea, to be honest, it does really matter what they can pay in. The, let's call it time. The uh, the idea is that people uh, will have like visa, you know, so they can just withdraw their money directly from the ATM, or they can you know pay their bills with it. So essentially, they might don't even see how the on the back end how it get paid. Uh, the idea of labor out though, because uh, uh, you don't want you know cryptocurrency quite quite volatile. Yeah, as we know, like, you know, Bitcoin went through, like, you know, from 2.9,000 to 1.8, back to 2.7, all in the space of, you know, two weeks. And obviously, if somebody gets paid today, you know, one week they're millionaires, next week they, you know, lost half of their value, you know what I mean? So the idea of labor hour is uh, to have a stable currency, uh, so it's not as volatile, you know, so like, quite stable, actually not volatile at all, so the person knows if, if, if in their head they think, oh, I should get paid $300, uh, it should be $300. And the system will just to convert it, use the, use the labor hire stable point, just to convert it. Uh, if, they want, if they want dollars, they get dollars from the ATM. Great. So what does the roadmap look like? What, what's already be, been completed in the Chrono Bank plan, and what is the next year yeah, uh, uh, in store? Uh, with that, what do you call it? So we're finishing up uh, the, the new, the new uh, redesign uh, like, you know, new design and the improved functionality on the website include uh, Chrono, Wall Chrono Mint, as we call it, which essentially is, oh, it's kind of like a wallet where you can store your time and not just time, but all the other currencies as well. Uh, we're thinking at the moment how to tie it up with the time folders so they get some kind of bonus because they have full time, but that's, um, you know, it's kind of, don't quote me on this yet, uh, just in process. Uh, so... Uh, and, you know, the development of the actual flagship labor X platform, that's on the way as well. The, for the next half a year, we, for next half a year, year, the bigger plans is to finish labor X platform. Um, it might include a decentralized exchange in it as well, uh, have wallet in it, and, you know, go ahead with the uh, mass adoption. That's like, I mean, you know, the, the key, like, you know, the big bullet points, so to speak. I mean, obviously, yeah. in between, we'll try to... Um, do some you know little things like as i said if you hold the time uh you might get some kind of bonus when the transactions are done through the corner wallet but that's yeah. you know you know as i said we're kind of thinking about it how to do it but like uh you know little little things but uh, i suggest to have a look at that article i will have like nice infographics and the uh more more info about uh you know what's 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 going to be done in the next half a year year okay and could you uh you mentioned the labor x platform uh, could you describe that a little bit? Mm -hmm. My understanding, it's basically the, the DAP that facilitates all of this. That is correct. That's exactly right. Yes. So, you know, once again, in simple terms, has a drop, somebody looking for a drop, the platform connects it. And, yeah, you know, that rank, ranking system, rating system that I mentioned before, uh, that would be through the platform as well. Uh, well, pretty much yeah, in simple terms, that's what it does. Okay, great. And uh, one question I like to ask uh, everybody is a more personal question. So how did you mm -hmm. get into all this? Uh, how did you find out about cryptocurrency and how did you get to where you yeah, are now? Yeah, so, well, right. so, as I said, originally I'm from uh, Russia, so I moved here to Australia in 99 uh, uh, to do the, uh, to go to uni. Uh, in uni, that's where I met uh, Sergei Stjenka, who is the CEO of Crown Bank. 
uh, and you know finish uni blah 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 you know just live the life um uh, and then about 10 or so years ago uh search started this edward group company in uh, sydney and because at, at that stage i was living in melbourne uh they've asked me to uh help them with the melbourne operations so we got in into the uh, labor hire training you know painting side of businesses but generally speaking we I guess do the business. What's a what's what's the word entrepreneurs? So we always been looking into other projects. Like we tried to do some successful, some unfortunately not. But you know, you know that's kind of how it goes sometimes. So uh, a few years ago, we were trying to develop this uh, mobile application for the uh, discounts on the. Uh, you know, if you if you pass the coffee shop, you know the coffee shop sends you a notification that you know we have special for the coffee. So I guess that would be kind of. Uh, indirect introduction to all the world of the uh, you know digital technology so that was i don't know six something seven years ago something like that uh and then i said we always had our eyes open on new things and blockchain just kind of came up about a year ago or something year two years ago or something and you know yourself the uh, concept is quite fascinating and you know the whole the whole thing that you know it's decentralized and you know you cannot alter it and it's, I guess, goes uh, against the establishment, so to speak. So it's a lot of, uh, you know, benefits in the thing. And it's, we see it as, you know, future of the world. So uh, we thought just, you know, give it a crack. As I say in Australia, give it a crack, see what happens. 